everybody Ann here sitting in front of the tiny house having my coffee with all of you. I've let the chickens out. The baby chicks are doing just fine. I was so nervous. <laughs> Good morning, Romeo. <laughs> I was so worried about the baby chickens because it got down to like 34 degrees last night. They all made it through just fine and it stays very warm in that van because I do the deep litter method and that creates heat. But I'm just about ready to... Uh, shovel that out. I'm glad I didn't do it already because um, you know what? It got cold again. And so, yeah, I'm glad I didn't uh, empty it out just quite yet. But anyhow, I'm sitting around looking at my plants. I got to go and cover them. Hopefully, none of them died. Romeo has been doing this long extended crow. I wish I could get it on camera sometime because it is hilarious. Anyway, I got to go look at my plants and cover them and see what's going on. It's the day after the big frost. We got one more day to go and I've uncovered the plants and many of you may ask why are you uncovering it because you're supposed to retain the heat. Well because the plastic is basically practically right on top of these plants and the sun is coming out today and it will bake these plants to death. So while it's sunny I'm keeping them uncovered and they're doing actually better. Then before I woke up this morning and look at all those are definitely radishes. Look at all those radishes. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I may be getting a carrot. I don't know. Um, but if I keep them covered up with the plastic when it's sunny outside, it gets too hot in there. And uh, that's what happened the last time. And I baked my plants. But look at all these beautiful, beautiful onions. They're doing great. You know, beefsteak tomatoes, whatever. These tomatoes are doing great. These green peppers are doing great. Everything survived just fine. Look at this. Even, even the basil, there are no signs of damage to any of them. And this was just in here, covered up with all these. But the squash and the cayenne, doing great. The, the leaves are a little bit yellow. I don't know. It could be nutrition. It could be lack of sun because they've had several days of no sun. Look at these big, huge things. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, the cucumbers and the bush beans got bigger overnight. Cherry tomatoes still aren't doing anything. These weren't even covered. Um, these cayenne, I'm probably going to end up just pulling them. <laughs> yep. Uh, jalapeno pepper. I may have a jalapeno pepper coming up right there. I don't know. Um, eggplant not doing so hot, but everything that was doing good before is doing good again. So let's go around the side of the house. Tomatoes did great, and I definitely needed to take the black plastic off. It get way, way too hot in there because it's already starting to warm up. Uh, banana peppers did just fine, as well as the jalapeno and the eggplant. So all of this was done great. Everything in this planter made it great. Yes, it did. I'm getting more runners on the strawberries. Look at that spinach. It's looking beautiful. And all of this stuff made it through just fine as well. Look at my sages trying to grow back. And then there's this stuff. It all made it through the night just fine. So good on me. Somebody asked about these lilies. They're starting to come up now. Uh, it looks like they're coming up. <laughs> I don't have any over here yet. I don't have any on the other side either, but they'll come. And here's the second incarnation of the fire pit. I went and got some more bricks and I doubled it up because basically the one row was just not stable enough. So it's not really built right still. Um, what I'd really like to do is put the bottom like this and put the subsequent layers facing this way. But the problem with this is, is these are one third. <laughs> in uh, width as they are the length. So I'd actually need to have one more row so that, let me show you. See what I mean? It would only come to right here. I need another row of bricks all the way on the outside. That way I can put the top ones like this and they would be more stable. But I didn't do that. So <laughs> I just kind of worked around that. Um, Yes, on the bottom, I did place holes on the outside. Now there is a second row on the other side, but what I did is I met up the holes so that a hole is meeting another hole on the other side. And I had to do some creative spacing because 
things just didn't fit exactly right but it is much more stable this way it's going to be less likely to fall over and i staggered the bricks so um i think that this will work at least temporarily i am going to forego using mortar for right now because i'm not sure this is where i'm going to want to keep it always um see there's the holes leading to the outside so that'll give it some more airflow um you know, I'm just going to use it like this and just be careful not to knock bricks over and whatnot. Um, and then maybe I can get some more bricks and build it up one more row on the outside so I can put them crossways like that on top, make them much more stable. Uh, so we'll just kind of see how it goes, but this is working great. I'm going to build another nice fire tonight and yeah, I dig it. I love my little fire pit. Check out my birdhouse, you guys. Something has built a little nest in there. I don't know if you can see, but there's a bunch of stuff in there. So I don't know. I don't know if some some little bird's trying to build a nest in there or not, or if it's just a fake nest. I know that wrens will build two nests. One's the real one and one's the fake one. So I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, and by the way, the wren is still sitting on her eggs in the nest. And I've kind of like poked my head in there a little bit. And it looks like there's another nest built in that same box off to the side. So I don't know if that's where the papa bird goes to rest at night or whatever, but she's still sitting in there and she's just so sweet. She hunkers down and whatnot. It's so cute. So I don't know, maybe I'll hear some babies chirping in there before too long. I did want to talk to you about the quality of my videos lately. I don't know if it's this phone I got, but it just doesn't seem like it's top notch. I mean, it's a lower end phone. It's been working great, but really, I mean, the sound sounds weird to me. Um, the pictures don't look as good to me. So I have ordered a camera and it's supposed to be delivered on Friday. Let's see, this video is actually going to be published on Friday. So I'll be getting it today and uh, I'm going to learn how to use that camera. It is not a GoPro. It's a GoPro kind of knockoff, I guess you could say. It's not very expensive, um, but it's gotten really good reviews. So when I get it, I'm going to start shooting videos with it. And, um, you know, it may take me a couple days to kind of learn how to use it and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start using this other little camera. It's an action camera. It's waterproof. Hopefully, it'll have a better microphone. And hopefully, it'll work out better because doing it on this phone is just... <sighs> I don't know. I could probably edit it on this phone. But trying to you know, just shoot it and the sound, it just, I don't know. Um, you tell me, I just don't think it's been sounding very good. So I'm going to do that and just wish me luck. <laughs> I hate learning new, well, actually I don't hate learning new things, but I'm such a pedant that I get used to doing something a certain way and I just hammer it to death and <sighs> so I get to learn something new. Yay. Anyhow, I got to go fix me some breakfast. Check this out. Now, I know many of you might think this looks gross, but last night I had made kind of a stew out of chicken, a can of mixed vegetables, a can of mushrooms, a can of chickpeas, and so there was leftovers this morning, and the yellow coloring is turmeric, and I don't know, I got some other seasonings in there. It's delicious. It was delicious last night, so what I'll do with a stew like this or chili or anything like that is the next morning, mm, my mouth is watering. I know this is going to be good. Um, I will just crack a couple eggs over the top of it and let it cook and eat it up. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. I can't wait to taste it. I know it looks gross, but you know what? It's going to be delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. That breakfast was delicious. I know I always say that, but you know what? I'm not a picky eater. Anyhow, uh, I have to go into town today. I know I'm getting something at the post office box. It's been delivered, and I know what it is. Somebody sent it to me. They wanted me to give my opinion on it, so I'm going to do another review in another video or two. I need to pick that up. I need to go into Tractor Supply Company because those baby chicks... Oh my gosh, they went through a whole bag of chick starter feed already. And I do get the unmedicated kind. Um, but Miss Pris has been eating a lot of it too. Uh, and she's starting to get her healthy look back again. Her comb is starting to get a little bit of color and whatnot. Um, and she's such a good mama. Sitting up on those those chickens, you know, when it's night night time. And she goes all the way to the back by inside that little chicken brooder place. She's just got herself spread out, but her head's 
up high. She's just very stoic. It's like I'm feeling blissful feelings over these beautiful chickens. Anyhow, so that's what I got to do for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.